Hi, guys. Uh, this is Terry with CYO Camps, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to build a fire. To start, uh, I want you to make sure with maybe an adult that there isn't a fire ban. That happens a lot during the summer, the warm times. Um, and think about where is a good place to maybe build a fire. So inside in a fire uh a pit um, or maybe a fire pit in the outside which is what we have here so first you want to think about where you're going to build it and then we've got a couple different types of supplies that you'll need um go. so let's see the i like to think about what kind of base that we're going to use um so if, especially if you're building outside uh here in the pacific northwest it's especially rainy so the ground is often wet so I like to put down maybe a piece of cardboard. You can use even maybe paper bags, grocery bags if you have them, as just a beginning um, uh, base. So that way, what you're starting on is nice and, and dry. So there's three different types of um, things that we're gonna use that we kind of categorize when we're fire building. And the first um, is this stuff called tinder. Um, and tinder is this is this stuff that will just light very quickly. It'll spark up. It starts the initial uh, spark and then spreads from there, but it doesn't last very long. So it's things like paper, um, really small sticks. Um, and I even have, there's some lint that, that we use um, from your dryer. Uh, dryer lint is really awesome with that too. It, it lights up really easily. So uh, this, once again, is tinder. The next level up, the slightly bigger stuff that you're going to use is maybe larger twigs, maybe bigger sticks, um, things like this we call kindling. So kindling is this next level of up that kind of burns right after the, like the tinder gets it started. Um, and then eventually it won't last super long either. It will maybe last a couple minutes, but it won't burn for a long time. So for that, you need the fuel or maybe larger logs that you have. Um, and this is what's actually going to keep the fire going for a long time. But these won't start without the tinder and the kindling as well. So that's what you'll need um, to be able to build a basic fire. And there's a lot of different ways to build fires. Um, but I'm going to go over three different kinds uh, that we use here at, at CYO um, quite often. So the first is I'll do the lean-to uh, fire. So for that one, we're going to still use that base. Um, and typically you use one log. It can be a larger one. Uh, this is really good if you have high winds or if you're cooking a foil dinner, like making a cooking fire. Um, so you'll set one log down. The idea is that you're going to build off of this one log and lean all of the stuff on off of, off of that one log. So you're gonna take a log and then maybe place the, the kindling on the base. So we've got paper, we've got little bits of um, sticks to place it into the center. And then, uh, then you're gonna, the, the main structure of it is this kindling. So you start with some kindling and you're gonna lean them up on against that big log. So you're creating this kind of uh, cave almost, or there's a little cave on the inside there. And you're gonna fill that cave with a t the tinder, the stuff that starts really quickly. So that way, whenever you get the fire started, it lights uh, and it catches that kindling on fire. Um, and then as it burns, so I would light it at this point, maybe add a little bit more paper and tinder underneath there. Um, and as it burns up, you're going to add the bigger logs as you go along. So once the fire gets a little bit bigger, you can add the bigger logs as they go. Um, once again, this is really good. It makes a lot of coals for, um, for your foil dinners or cooking over the fire. And also if it's really windy, you can kind of set it up so that way the big log is blocking the wind. Um, for the rest of the fire to actually get it started. So this is one option. This is the lean two. Okay, I'll show you another one. Let's see. Let's go with the TP. So um, once again, start with the tinder. You got paper, you got the little pieces of stick, and that's gonna be the inside of your TP. And if you think we're gonna build it from here, is starting with the kindling after 
the tinder. You're going to create like a pyramid of all of these sticks. Now this is kind of tricky. You have to, um, to like balance on itself. That takes some practice and sometimes uh, I need that practice as well. So sometimes it helps for me if this is a good trick for other folks to kind of use a base at the, bo the bottom. So we've got two logs I sit down, maybe even four. That helps balance those guys up there if you need it. There. And you'll build off of that basically. Take some finesse. Um, and you'll keep adding the sticks to it all the way around and filling in with the tinder into the center um, with more paper and sticks. And then you'll get it lit up from there. Um, and as it goes, you just add more larger logs around the teepee um, to add the fuel. Uh, and that can burn for quite a, quite a while. I've seen massive teepee fires. Okay, so then I saved the last and my the last one, uh, my favorite one for last. So the third type of fire uh, building techniques that we're talking about is the log cabin. And this is what you kind of have seen probably in the last couple years with the uh, campfires, like at the final campfires and campfires at CYO. It's how we typically uh, build ours. So once again, so this time you start, you've got that base, you start with um, two good sized logs. You're trying to make them about the same size is helpful. Um, so you start with the big logs and you're going to put two parallel down. And next grab two other ones that are about the same size and you're going to put them kind of like a hashtag, right? Or a pound sign crisscrossed on top. Let's do this. There we go. And this is your base. So you're going to eventually stack more and more up smaller and smaller um, into what we call, right, a lag, lag cabin. But after that first four set down, this is whenever I start adding those tinder and kindling. So um, this is putting the paper and the sticks um, into the center. With the paper, you can use a whole piece, but I like to do it in long strips because I think that it burns slower and uses less paper overall. I like to also kind of crunch it up a little bit because once again, it burns a little less, less slowly and it goes farther, kind of fills spaces more. We got the paper. We've got some kindling in there. in there. And it's okay if it doesn't look like fires aren't meant to be beautiful. They're just meant to light. So it doesn't got to look beautiful. Just got to do its job, which is getting started. All right. So we've got some tinder. We've got the logs. Now we're going to use the kindling to kind of create, similar to that last one, a little teepee in the center. So... The idea is that whenever we get, we have, uh, we use the matches or lighter to actually get this t this tinder started. It will burn up and light the pyramid on fire as well. And then once the, the pyramid, the kindling is on fire, eventually these logs will catch on fire. Going up. Depending on how much time you got for your campfire, how long you're wanting it to last, and you can keep building it up. So this one would last quite a while I, at this point. And I would say, um, consider once you have it kind of built, this is the structure that you want, um, just stuffing some random pieces of paper in there too to get it started because it can be through at any spot. Um, just stick it in there because we want the fire to actually light. So, yeah.
that's the basics. Um, then you guys can have a roaring fire, especially with adult supervision. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I want to see you guys building fires in your backyards and in your fireplaces as well. So have a good time.